Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. Today I want to talk to you about elastic energy and how you can use the way that muscles actually work to add tremendous power to your serve and make the stroke faster, but make it easier. Now, as we go into the serve, we know we have the trophy pose here, and then we want the racket to drop and then come through to contact. But the way that the racket drops and then the way that the racket comes through to contact wants to be with a smooth, elastic movement. The drop of the racket should result in a recoil of the elbow and arm going into contact with the ball. It looks something like this. So I go into the stroke here, and then I drop, recoil and hit. And my racket accelerates effortlessly when I get the two movements synchronized in this way. For most players, what you see is a breakdown of this synchronization, a lack of connection between the two, a lack of rhythm. And so very often you see this, one, two, three. And what we should see, again, so how do we get that rhythm if we don't have it naturally? How do we reproduce this recoil and energy where one movement kind of bounces off the other? First of all, let's isolate them. So when the racket drops, what we've got is external shoulder rotation. This is internal shoulder rotation here inside, and this is external, where I go behind the line of the body. External, internal. The drop of the racket is an external ro shoulder rotation movement, and then the drive up to the ball is very much an internal shoulder rotation movement. One feels weak and has to just happen, and one feels strong. So what I suggest you do is this. Take a ball, go into the service stance, go up to the trophy pose here, and then throw the ball behind you and get the feeling of external shoulder rotation. So I throw the ball down there. And now I make the same movement, but not with the ball, with the racket with the hand going backwards, tossing the imaginary ball, but in this case, dropping the racket. And the moment that I feel the racket dropping down here, what I then want to do is drive the elbow upwards. There shouldn't be a separation between them. So first of all, I'll do this with the ball. I'm in my trophy pose, and I'm going to throw the ball back and pull the elbow up. So back up. And now with the racket. So into place, into my trophy pose, and back up. And I'm thinking about the elbow here. This is the driving force. Don't think about the racket. Don't think about the hand. Think about the elbow. Into trophy pose, back up. When you achieve the synchronization of these two movements, then we try and put it into the serve, not really aiming the serve, just hitting the ball almost anywhere. So I'm not even on the baseline. Uh, when I want people not to aim the serve, I don't like them to stand on the baseline and serve because they automatically are looking, oh, it was in, that was good. How? You're not aiming it, you're just feeling it. So go somewhere else on the court and then you're not distracted by whether the ball is in or whether it's out. So now I'm gonna go into the stroke and from my trophy pose, I'm going to feel the racket go back and as it stops, I'm gonna power the elbow up. So I'll start in half a serve and I feel it go back and up. And now with the full serve and back and up. When you can synchronize the external and internal shoulder rotation and gain rhythm, then you will get way more power on your serve. This is a great way of achieving this when it's not coming naturally. And for the vast majority of people, this is a very unnatural movement. If you need more help with your game, have a look at what we do with online coaching. We're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one lessons such as this, tailor-made for each individual person. So learn to master external shoulder rotation, internal shoulder rotation. Put the two together. Find harmony and rhythm in your serve, and you will have a faster and more powerful serve immediately. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.